everybody it's Norma and it is time for me to do a candle empties video I'm a little bit late in getting it up because I don't know what's changed in my schedule I swear I just can't figure out why I just don't have time to do videos anymore but it's been really really difficult for me to find the time to film and um, so I apologize for that I, I am going to try throughout the summer to at least keep up keep up doing my empties video and my what I am burning now video I don't know about getting reviews up people you know if I can I, I will but um, otherwise you will see them in my empties because I'm still going to try to get those up although those these empties videos are actually the hardest for me to do because I have to keep all these empties around you know I, sometimes I just feel like chucking the candle in the garbage when I'm done but I do keep them um, so I can share my thoughts and opinions with you all now in my Facebook group we are playing candle roulette and the theme for April was basically Easter candles because Easter fell late this year and it was in April. So I didn't really have a lot of Easter candles because I was on a ban when all the Easter candles came out. So I didn't get, you know, the new peeps, which everyone was raving about. And um, they discontinued bunny cake this year which I was sad about because even though it's a light thrower it's just a cute candle and you know I've always enjoyed the scent and I can't jelly beans I, I think this year's jelly beans everybody just kind of really didn't like it compared to previous years so I only had two Easter candles and these were from prior years I had the peeps marshmallow chicks and bunny cake and you know, I really do like the Peeps candle. I th think it's just a basic vanilla marshmallow type scent that for me is a good blender scent. I do love vanilla candles. Uh, I like, I'm not a huge bakery person as most of you probably know by now, but I do love a nice vanilla bakery type scent and a lemon bakery type scent. When you start getting into the really sticky, sweet, gooey, ooey stuff, I, I have to proceed with caution. You know, there, I have found some scents I like, like, uh, what can I think of? Like Village Maple Butter, I can do it in small doses. I do like cinnamon bread, cinnamon coffee cake, cinnamon type stuff scents. But basically, when it comes to foody type scents, you know, vanilla I feel pretty safe with so with the marshmallow chicks I mean it's just a nice you know blending scent as far as I'm concerned you know bunny cake is basically you know, your your bunny cake is that yellow cake with coconut I can definitely smell the coconut in here um, yeah it's sad it's retired I hope they bring it back if I find it at the outlet I will pick one up because I do plan on Oh, you guys, I've been so bad. I've been so bad. But um, I have one more haul to share with you. And then I think I need to go on a wax fan again. Yes, I do. So um, I, I am planning on going to the outlet, you know, at least one time this summer. So I will plan for a purchase then. But other than that, I'm really going to try to hold out until the fall candles come out. Um, so that's Peeps and Marshmallow Chicks. Or, no, Peeps Marshmallow Chicks is the same candle. This was the 2014 pour. And Bunny Cake, I think it was the same year. You know, light. I think the Peeps was stronger. Um, but they're just, you know, traditional candles to burn for Easter. And I do enjoy them both. I do wish the Bunny Cake was stronger and would come back. Burn issues. I have to be frank with you guys. When you see my Yankees, well... Actually, most of them are pretty good. Um, I just haven't had time to be burning, you know. I'm, I'm doing like 12-hour days now, and I used to be able to burn at least three, three and a half hours in the morning, and that time has been cut down to like two. And same thing at night. I used to be able to burn like three, three and a half hours at night. That time has been cut down like to two. <laughs> so if I can get two and a half in the morning, two and a half at night, I'm doing really, really good. So that's like five hours total. And as you guys know, a lot of Yankees need more than two and a half hours to pull out. So I have been having tunneling, but it's my fault. I can't really blame the candle um, because I always do start my candles 
on the weekend and if they perform good on the weekend when they have proper time to burn then I know it's not the candle it's just me so if you see you know some issues like this it's not really the candles fault it's just I don't have time to burn but I'm burning anyway because I got a huge stash to get through so I I have to do it that's all there is to it okay so since those were the only two Easter candles I had I had to dig into my stash to find some other things and so I went with a classic buttercream and I mean I've talked about this one a lot I think I mean it's just a staple for me and like I said don't pay attention to how the jar looks it's it's me a culpa. I just burn when I can and deal with the consequences later, I guess. I like buttercream. It's I was when it was rumored to be retired a couple years ago, I was like like freaking out. It was like, oh my god, how could they retire buttercream? Um, it's just a nice basic it smells like buttercream frosting. Um, to me it's you know, it's a great blender candle. If you guys are new to my channel, you may not know, but I burn a lot of candles at one time a lot of candles and so you have to check out my what I am burning now video so a lot of times I like to have just a basic neutral vanilla scent in the background which is one reason I guess why I like vanilla so um, I can never have too many vanilla candles around or vanilla base type candles because I just love them so that was buttercream and this is one that it kind of killed me to drag out to burn but I was really on a mission to reduce my stash at the time and this is shortbread cookie I love shortbread cookies they're probably like my favorite cookies in the world to eat just butter and sugar and you know flour and vanilla you can't get better than that as far as I'm concerned so when this candle came back it was came back as a treasure a few years ago I was really really excited to see it but I was so disappointed in the throw and so I didn't finish burning it and I didn't buy any more and I really am kind of regretting that because I don't know because it sat you know for a few years um, and I think this was a 2014 as well it did really good I mean it wasn't a strong thrower by no means but I mean look the burn was good on it I had no issues with with that at all and it wasn't scentless I mean, it was a light thrower, yeah, but it wasn't scentless. I mean, and when I talk scentless, I mean when you stick your nose in the jar and you still can't smell nothing. I mean, it's just a yummy, yummy scent. So, I think if it comes back, I'm going to reconsider my position on it and actually purchase it and then maybe just let it sit and marinate in its oils and juices for a few years. Because um, I was actually pretty happy with it and I was sad that it's my last one. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, this is a random one that I picked up from Home Goods a few years ago. I was really trying to go through my stash and pick up candles that, you know, I, I bought like a few years ago, never got around to burning, or candles that I like, wasn't like crazy about. So this falls into both categories. I picked it up a few years ago, and it's a scent I'm not crazy about because it's basically Yankee Candle's Meyer Lemon Scent, which is not my favorite lemon scent from them. It's okay. Um, this one actually did better than I was expecting to. I don't know, maybe again, it's a, uh, a case of, you know, the oils marinating in the wax, and they did better than I expected. Once again, the performance issues are my fault because I just don't have time but I burn anyway but yeah I mean I think I might have a couple more of these left I'm not sure because at the time I was obsessed with it I don't know why was I obsessed with it I just don't know I but this one actually does smell okay sometimes when I smell this candle I get like a, a cleaner scent from it and I'm I wasn't getting that from this one and this one I was getting more of the lemon, the fresh lemon. Okay, so as you can see in April, I was kind of on a mission to get through some of my Yankees. So I went to Splash of Rain, because of course it was April and 
it was kind of rainy and gloomy. In fact, all of April was pretty gloomy. I mean, I think we had better weather in January and February, to tell you the truth. I love, 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 love this label. Um, I will try to remember to keep one, just not to burn, just to keep for the label, because I actually really do love the label. I This time around, I wasn't as crazy about the scent. I mean, it is one of those... Um, ozone-y, fresh air, rainy type scents. I remember last year in April, I burnt two of these and I was enjoying it, I think more than this year. This year I was picking up more of a soapy note, um, kind of similar to the soapy note that I picked up in Rainbow's End. Rainbow's End came out last year and everybody was like, you know, was, oh my gosh, Rainbow's End is the holy grail of candles. And I remember buying four, and I returned three, and I kept one. I kept one just for the label, but I didn't like the scent. It was just something sharp and soapy and icky about it to me. And I'm picking up something similar in Splash of Rain. I know this is a favorite for a lot of people. This one, I think, is more tolerable to me. I mean, if I had to choose between Splash of Rain and Rainbow's End this would be it. Um, it's more appealing to me, but it's like, you know what, if it comes back, I don't know if I'd get it again. Like I said, I have, you know, maybe one or two more, and I think that's going to be enough for me. You know, keep one for the label, one to burn. I'm good to go. Golden Sands. This has been another classic favorite. Oh my God, look at that label. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. In fact, I I had, when I burnt this one, I was really hesitant because I hadn't burned it in, I know I didn't burn it last year, and I can't remember if I burnt it the year before. So it's like, I'm due to burn my golden sands. But I was hesitant to do it because I had this one and one other. And even though I knew it was um, back in stock, at least online, I didn't know if it was this label. So I just recently, um, I think you guys saw it in my last haul, got two golden sands. And I was so happy that they sent the ones with the beautiful label because I just love this label. And this candle is so beautiful burning with the peach colored wax and then it, it glows with the label. I mean, I love this candle. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Yankee Candles, this scent is kind of very similar to Bath & Body Works um, Istanbul. I like it a lot. It's just, you know, perennial classic. Okay, is that what, no, one more Yankee, two more Yankees. This one is new for this year. This is Black Sand Beach, and it's basically a patchouli jasmine scent. It's like peppercorn, patchouli, jasmine. I don't really get a whole lot of jasmine. I know some people did. I get mostly patchouli and peppercorn. In fact, the peppercorn was like the first note that I pick up in this candle, to me it's the predominant note, other than the patchouli. I like it. It's, I don't know if, you know, I'll go out of my way to buy it again. Um, it's not one I would hoard again, but I do like it because I do like patchouli type scents, and I think throwing the jasmine there gave it a different edge. I would, you know, now I'm smelling it. Yeah, I probably would get it again. Um, but I had problems with the candle. It started out okay. Um, but then what happened is about halfway or a little bit lower than halfway, maybe around here, I completely lost the wick. It just, I don't know if you can see it here. See that wick? you see the wick? Okay, well, I was only halfway through the candle, and the wick was down there. I completely lost it. So I ended up just chunking out the wax and throwing it into some melt cups so that I can use in my centerpiece. It's just really weird. This has only happened to me one other time, I think. With all the hundreds and hundreds of candles I burned, um, so this has only happened to me twice where the wick just disappeared and yeah so burn performance was awful but 
I do like the scent. Okay, so I have one more Yankee. This is a three wick that I picked up at, I think it was Burlington Coat Factory about three years ago. This is lavender. And oh, I didn't like this candle. I've burnt these three wicks before from Burlington Coat Factory, and they're paraffin wax. And most of them have been very, very good. And you guys know I love lavender, and I actually like Yankee candles. You know, their regular lavender candle, their French lavender from the World Journeys line. Love their lavender vanilla. I did not like this lavender. And I can remember when I bought it, I was with um, a friend of mine who was also a, a candle fiend. And I was like, Don't, doesn't this smell odd to you? And she's like, no, it smells like lavender. And so I bought a few of these because I thought, well, maybe I was just having an off day. But you know what? It, it doesn't smell right. It's It's soapy. It's like what kind of a, it's just a soapy lavender. It's just, I don't like it. I don't like the scent. And if I have any more, I need to dig them out and burn them up and get, get them out of my house because I don't care for it. Um, it, it. It was really, really slow burning initially. It tunneled like, it started out okay. The first burn actually did okay. Um, then after that, but it took a long time. These three wicks, if you've never burnt them, you can find them at like your TJ Maxx, your Home Goods, Marshalls. They also sell the three wicks at Bed Bath and Beyond. So if you're going to pick up one of these, I have to tell you, your first burn, plan on spending a few hours. It's really wide, and even though it's three wicks, it does take a long time for the wax to pull out. And if you don't get a wax pull the first time, you're going to have a disaster with this candle. So I actually didn't quite let it pull out the first time. It was almost there, like so close. I was like, you know what? I think I'm good. I need to go to bed. I'm going to blow it out. Well, that was a mistake because it took a long time to recover from that. Um, most of the bird, it just looked like a hot mess. It did eventually, as you can see, I mean, pretty much fix itself. But um, I didn't like the scent. Now, I do have another three wick going in the scent um, Lilac Blossoms, which is doing much better. This one, ugh, I wouldn't get this one again. Okay, so let's talk root. As you guys may know, I've been having a tough time with root. Um, I mean, this one, this one was a hot mess. I will never, ever get it again. Um, Hasta, you know, it's a floral, and you guys know I love my florals, and I thought I was going to love this candle. The scent itself, I don't even really care for. I'm not sure what I'm picking up that I don't like, you know, because when I read the scent description, it has, like, everything in there that I like. There's no reason why I shouldn't like this candle, but for some reason, I don't really care for it. I can tolerate it, but the scent is not a beautiful floral to me that I would have to have in my life forever and ever amen no i'm done with it i will never buy it again for the scent performance absolutely no way will i ever buy this candle again this has probably been the worst performing candle i've ever had in my life and this is my second one i bought two of these things um as you can see there is a wick in there still but the wick totally gave out on me and i think that was the problem with this candle there was something with the wick it just never got a nice flame it would just puck putter out just look like a little tiny glowing ember i could never get a wax pull on it no matter what i did um and so i finally gave up on it i i don't even want to waste my time putting it in a melt or anything because i'm just so done with this i hate that candle hate it this one is the lavender vanilla it did better um, in fact, when I first burnt these, I did a little experiment in my Facebook group and I burnt them both at the same time and I went through like a you know, little lighting ceremony. This one didn't pull out. This one did. This one actually did better, so I had high hopes for it. Um, it started to give me issues though later on in its life. But as you can see, comparing the jars, this one did better. Um, while I love lavender vanilla, I don't 
care for this lavender vanilla. I discovered that I don't like Roots vanilla in general. I had some French vanilla ones that I just couldn't stand. Um, so honestly, between the two of these, I, I, I would never get either one of these again. I was ready to completely give up on Root. That was it. I was washing my hands, although I do like their, um, their sparkling champagne. But I had, in the same order, ordered some other candles. And one of them is Rose Petals. And I finally lit that one up a couple weeks ago. And I have to tell you people, it was fabulous. It's been pooling. It's been throwing. I love the scent. So these two I will never buy again. But I'm really excited about the Rose Petals. And I have another one. Um, I can't think of what it is that I haven't tried out yet. So I'm, I'm starting to, like, you know, maybe I just had some really bad luck. I really think it was a wick issue. I mean, because the wicks would just get, like, they would just, like, fizzle out. Um, but now that I have the rose petals, I'm excited. It, it's been doing fabulously. It's, like, one of my best performers. So I don't know. I guess maybe they have... You know, it varies upon the scent. I don't know who I can't explain it, but these two fail. Okay, so earlier in my video, I mentioned that I love vanilla, so I had some vanilla going on. I had one Swan Creek in vanilla pound cake, and you know, these are soy wax. This is if you guys like vanilla bakery, this is a good one. Um, I do. Pr find that I think I prefer Swan Creek oh, I can't even talk Swan Creek's wax melts a little bit better than the candles because the wax melts throw really well more than the candles but um, there are a few candles that I will probably continue to buy and this is one of them it's not as strong as you know the melt but it's just the vanilla pound cake is just it's just a yummy vanilla, a little bit buttery um, candle, great blender. And I, I mentioned this, I, when it comes to performance, I never had performance issues with this Wan Creek. This one did leave some residue, a little bit more than some of the others, I think, but you know, it, it, it did okay. I liked it better than I liked these. Now these, these were all the rage, was it last summer or two summers ago? I think it was two summers ago. And everybody was running out to their home goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, trying to find these. These were DW Home Candles, and they had these sayings on them, which is really nice. And this one was, nothing else matters but love. And this is just in the scent, vanilla. And it's a nice vanilla. But... And they were selling for what seven ninety nine. It's a nice vanilla. I have. I think I. I had. I remember. I like scoured the stores trying to find them, and I finally found like six of them. I burnt two the first year. I burnt two now, and I have two left. Um, they're two wicks. They they burned really well. The um, you know the wicks didn't go crazy. In fact, um, you know I didn't have to trim them every single burn because. You know, the, the flames would stay kind of low. The wicks never grew large or crazy. So even though it was a two-wick can, it was kind of nice because it was easy maintenance. Um, you know, you know me, when I trim my two wicks, sometimes I get one shorter than the other, and then one burns and one doesn't. So I, I did kind of have a little bit of that going on. Um, but for the most part, the performance was really good with the burning. And even because the flames were low, I was actually able to put um, a Yankee Candle flat lid illuminated on here, which normally I don't recommend doing on the two wicks, but um, I never got like really crazy high flames where I was concerned about it. I like it, but it's like, I guess I'm kind of over it. It's just, I, it's just not that great of vanilla to me. I'd rather have like Yankee's French vanilla or buttercream 
or this compared to this but at the time it was all the rage and so I, I went for it and it was nice it was pleasant it threw I had them I had two of them going on my stove which as you guys know is my dead zone and so I wasn't really getting throw from them but it, they weren't scentless either um, you know they did okay I just I guess I'm over it okay so we're starting to get down to the wire so I did burn four Kringles these are old Kringles these well these right here these two were from my very first Kringle order a few years ago and this is style is um, discontinued they were called crystal pillars and as you can see they were like pillar size one wick candles beautiful burn look at that beautiful burn no issues with that unfortunately the thing with this style is um, and and this year when the can when I bought these candles they were light you know now Kringo has the classic I forget what they call the classic jars that have two wicks they're wider so you get a wider wax pool you get a better throw with them but these two scents are beautiful. Mick, if you happen to watch this video, which I'm sure you're not because you're off jet skiing somewhere in Mexico probably, but these two scents are beautiful. Nantucket Rose and Gardenia. The Nantucket Rose is just a beautiful, fresh green rose. I mean, it's nothing special. But it's beautiful. It's just fresh and clean and simple. And that's how I like my rose. Gardenia. The Kringle Gardenia has to be one of the most beautiful gardenias I've ever smelled in candle form. Sometimes gardenia can come across soapy. Sometimes it can come across perfumey. This comes across like just a beautiful fresh pure gardenia you're you got the flower and you're smelling it fresh off the bush I mean it's it's just beautiful it's the most beautiful gardenia scent I smell I absolutely absolutely love it so I was really sad when it retired and then last summer I came across it at home goods they were selling them for whatever that price is $7.99, but I think it was on clearance. I can't read what that says. It's kind of rubbed off. Um, so I bought every one I could find, which was not many. So I think I have only maybe two left. Yeah, these were in the summer light style, still the one wick. A light thrower, but it was detectable in my bedroom. And like I said, I love, love, love that gardenia scent. You know, I know... Um, Right now, Kringles come out with their country candle line. If they brought back two, one scent, I would say, please bring back your gardenia. And Nantucket Rose would be a second request. Oh, Mambo. Okay, so we're getting down to the wire here. Bath and Body Works. I burnt two Amsterdam, which is tulips and windmills, which I think it's, that's a repackage of. I think it used to be called Flower Shop. Beautiful, beautiful, burned well, no puny wick syndromes, through, I mean, I could smell this, one candle could set my entire condo, I didn't need all these other candles, it was perfect, you know, it's definitely a floral, so if you don't like florals, this is not for you, but it, the performance, the throw, everything was perfect, so can't complain. This one is Autumn Day. And why, <laughs> okay, I got all these florals, and why do I have this? Because it was such a miserable month in April. And I, I dragged this out the last week in April because it was like in the 40s and 50s and rained for an entire week. And I just was so into fall. So this is what I picked up last fall. It was already partially burned, so I said, I'm just going to finish it off. And, you know, I really like this one. Um, very, very strong. Um, almost too strong for the type of scent. I'm not even sure what what the scent notes are, but I hit my glasses so I can't read it, but you guys can take a look at it if you want. Crisp red apple, green fig, white birch and cedar. Yeah, I definitely get the cedar 
apple. I don't really pick up apple. This was really good, though. Um, if it comes back this fall, I think I'll have to pick up another one because I'm pretty sure this is the only one I got. Now, I did have a little bit issue with the puny wicks, but it burnt steady. It pulled out. It threw. So I can't complain too much because, I mean, this one, it was strong. Um, and I like the scent. So I will keep my eye open when... Um, the fall candles come out. I can't believe I have not been to White Barn since the semi-annual sale. I have not. I have not bought any candles. Not from them anyway. I'm waiting for the fall. But I did hear um, they're bringing back uh, London, you know, the tea and lemon candles. So I may have to pick up a couple more just in case, just in case, just in case they don't bring it back next year. Okay, so we're down to the final three. So I'll start with this one. This is a DW Home Candle and Peony Petals. This was actually should be in my May empties, but I'm just going to toss it in here so I can get rid of it because I have another one going right now. Um, beautiful scent. You know, peony candles usually tend to be similar to a rose, but they're, they, they're generally more softer, maybe a little bit sweeter. It's nice. Um, I don't know if I'll get it again. Once I finish the one I have, I won't have any more of these. I don't know. I know a lot of people love the DW Home Candles. You know, this uh, vanilla was another one. I'm just not, I don't know. I'm just not that turned on to them like a lot of people are. I'm, I'm not finding their sense to be really authentic. There's always been something to, the, to me that seems a little bit off with them and they just seem light to me. If you guys have great luck with them and you're enjoying them, by all means, I'm so happy for you. Um, you know, if you find something that you enjoy in your life, just go for it. To me though, they're just not, they're just not hitting the sweet spot for me. So my home goods have been pretty much full with the DW Home Candles. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot of like, you know, the Yankees have been showing up in a lot of stores, um, but I haven't been seeing a ton of them, but there's so many DW home candles and I'm just kind of passing them up because frankly, they're just okay to me. And I mean, this one burnt well, the flames are low. I, like I said, I have a second one going right now, which is almost done and, it, and it's burning the same way. Um, the flames are low, so I don't have to trim the wick every single day. I would say maybe every three or four days I trim the wick. Um, it's it's just okay. You know, nothing special. I'm trying to burn through these suckers. I fell in love with this candle when I first got it. it this is a Colonial Candle from the Barcelona. But ever since Susan D said she smelled wet stems in the water, that's all I can smell now. And so it's my mission to finish these. I still have a, a few of them hanging around. One of the strongest candles I've ever had, ever. But I'm beginning to really dislike the scent. So I need to finish those. Um, and this one, this one I really liked, you guys. This is a, from a discontinued company called Light My Soy um, and this is in the scent French Vanilla Amber and I really love this scent. I'm, I'm almost kind of sad that I just got this little tiny one and this is my only one and now the company's gone so I can't get another one but this is it's like a baby powder scent with amber and when I first got it I was like I remember at the time I was obsessed with Napa Valley Sun so I thought it might be similar and it kind of is a little bit similar but it's definitely more like a baby powder type scent which I don't know I just really like this one I really did enjoy it and I'm kind of sad that I can't get it again French vanilla amber so there you guys have it that is my empties of video if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.